Once again, I'm taking the train to downtown Los Angeles. I'm getting pretty good taking the train. I know exactly what to do now. can always argue about what is art but for the people they say this is not art next time you got a spray can in your hand try to do the one on top is a totally different style than the one underneath but look how straight those lines are just try it and if you live here we have front row seats to what's going on over here LAPD has unmarked cars, not California exempt. They have a Dutch Charger as a police car. Always learn something new. Once again, the reason why I took the train, parking everywhere around the convention center is about $35 welcome to beautiful downtown los angeles once again i'm right here in front of the convention center in la and today i'm going to an art show and if you're into art this video is for you if you don't like art you can actually watch one of my 737 other videos i have on youtube look at this nice car right there so maybe you want to watch something else but stay with the giv LA Art Show, modern and contemporary. They're selling art pieces for thousands and thousands of dollars. And like I said in my other video, meanwhile, on this other side, there's the biggest art canvas in the world, those three towers. And time is running out. The city is gonna take it over tomorrow. And I'm not here to tell you what's art and what's not art. Art is in the eye of the beholder. I can just give you my opinion. There's a lot of factors involved in street art. Not only how good it is, it's also important where it is and how high it is. I guess the higher you are, the cooler you are, I believe. How cool would that be if I would have my own commercial right here in downtown LA, the GIV? Ooh. Urban Cowboys. They got the LAPD out with the horses patrolling. There we go. Everybody's taking picture of the high rises, even though they just came out of the LA art show. Well, enough with all that graffiti stuff. Let's go see some real art inside the building. That's what you call real art. Let's check it out. All right, Berlin is 5,759 miles this way. Ah, looking fancy pantsy already. We love LA. What is not to love? Look at this view here. The observatory with downtown in the background. I'm not on the red carpet, I'm on the black carpet. Let's see how much the tickets are for some contemporary art. What am I? Am I media? Or am I VIP? I think I have to go to this line. Did you security? That's great. Uh, it's a paper ticket, so I'm gonna I'm ask. security too. <laughs> He's gonna check. He's gonna, gonna check, okay. I got the director of security where it gets All right. Thank you, sir. It never works. When you do a YouTube video, you always want the best stuff in the beginning because then it hooks you and you're going to watch the video. Some people say it's better to put it in the end. I just start with whatever. If you watch it, you watch it. You should watch it. You get the free ticket to an LA art show. Why not? Oh. 
You want to know what I think what art is? This is awesome art to me right here. It looks so real. It looks like she's really sitting there. Oh, Swarovski's. But look at this. This is so surreal. This is what she looks like from the back. Perfect body. I give her a 10. And I always love this stuff here. The infinity hole. Look at this, wherever you look. <laughs> Even the security is fascinated and he works here. Bullet holes in metal. I like to look at people's reaction when they see stuff. Never seen those pictures before of David Bowie with the wolf. What? He was smoking cigarettes? Wow, I made exactly that same one. <laughs> well, even the people in the background laughing, but I did. When I displayed mine in the store, a lot of people said, how can you do something like this? Jesus forgives all the people can interpret it any way you want to. This is the one I made with two candle holders. This is really heavy. It's not plastic, so it's going for 18,000. I sold mine for $250. What does that tell you? This is just some really, really cool stuff here. I really like this. And I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah. Looks like she's really standing on that little edge right here. But it's a hologram, I believe. And they got this little sledgehammer moving to the left in a second. It's probably gonna take a second. There we go. Nice. See, you don't really know how it works. If you go on the side, you can't really see nothing. Look at this. Can't see it from this side, so where is it projected, Tom? 3D, pretty cool, huh? Wow, I would definitely put something up in a place like this. There's Mariah. Like I said, awesome. We got this gentleman from Switzerland here. Der spricht sogar Deutsch, and das sind seine Hände. Those are his hands right here, and he just showed me something. Look at this. And he said, this is a, that's a Rolex, but all the hair you see on the hand, that's actually his hair. And you touched this before. Can I touch it or you can yeah, show it? Look at this. This is amazing. That looks so real. Really nice. Check this out. She's smoking. And now she's blowing the smoke out of the frame. Great timing. Should I ask her to help her to put the picture up? No, I think she can do it herself. This is life art. All right. Nice. Sometimes you need refreshments. A Diet Coke is only $18. I'm just joking, it's $5. You might want to pause the video right here, get some popcorn because I think it's gonna be a long video. I think this is done in Photoshop, changing the colors, post. I know you like to talk about art, Jackson Pollock. You will never do it exactly the way he did it. What I can do it looks a little bit different, but uh, yes, is this art? We don't know. Ah, now I understand. I just got a Jackson Pollock right here. Thank you, sir. Free. Free, for free. There we go, thank you. Oh, look at this scary bear here. Loving stuff like this. This is pretty dope. I always wanted to make a picture like this, but in Photoshop so it looks more real. This is a painting. 
Ronald McDonald's with a yellow frame. Ich will raus. It's a German Berlin Wall. Almost like a Banksy, huh? There's Walt Disney here. And we're, and we're already there. Snoop Dogg and Snoopy. Did you actually know that they took his brain out when he died and he got cremated, but they still had his brain after 20 years? Princess Leia. Ninja Turtles with the Campbell soup. Miss Liberty. Awesome paintings. Is this Princess Peach from the Mario Brothers? She doesn't look too happy. Loving to people watch. Are we safe? You got that. We are uh, now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. See, you never know. Was that a piece of art? Or was he really a little bit nervous being in public? And he actually was wearing that. Is he part of the show or not? We never know. What's the name of the song? I feel like somebody's watching me. If you have a piece like this in your place, it takes a lot of time to really see everything. But those are all your favorite candies. What does this piece say? Play poker, you need some thumbs. 3D pieces. I like stuff like this. Those are bagel and lox, but it could be lox, bagel and lox. So now we know. This is pretty cool to me. All the landmarks of Los Angeles. You see a lot of good art here, but sometimes you're just not interested in what they're painting. Nice painting, but not for me. Hmm. Kind of Egyptian looking. I'm not sure. Gotta look closely. This is all from your Coke cans. <coughs> even a rat looks good in a suit. Don't even want to know. How many hours this person spent on this artwork here? Look at all those really, really, really small dots. Not my style, but I still like it. This oil painting. What's the meaning behind your hands coming out of your mouth? Who would do art like this? It is so easy to do with the technology we have today. You just go really close with the iPhone. The resolution is so good. You take a picture and you got the same artwork. Of course, we're not supposed to do that, but some people cannot afford to spend $13,000, $15,000 on a piece of art. People dress up to come here. I like it. It's a potato head. Looks a little strange. Is it only for women to kiss a frog and the prince shows up? Or is it for a guy too? If I would kiss that frog, is there going to be a beautiful woman there? Should I try? It would be so nice to have all that stuff in your apartment. Look how huge this picture is and how cool it is. Typical Hollywood party, everybody's partying and LA is burning down in the background right here. Everybody's having a good time, no matter what. Picture with, they even taking a selfie with the fire in the background. Lots of art is just art. You look at it, it's nice, but some they have actually really big messages and that's why I like Banksy so much. But I also really like this one here. 
I talk to a few artists and I know how the feeling is when you sit there and people come look at it and they say, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I like it. If you like it so much, why don't you buy it? And then they try to sell it to you. You know, if you're a good salesman, you try to sell your artwork. I was never like that. That's maybe, I'm not the biggest uh, businessman. I just make my art. And when somebody came in and they liked it, they buy it. I don't want to put pressure on people. Oh, this is this and this looks good. This make this and do this. No, you like it, you buy it. America is burning. I'm taking a selfie of people taking a selfie. Talking about art. That's what you got to do when you come here. What an awesome picture. That's what I always picture when I go to Vegas and I stop on the 15. I wish I had a model to take pictures like this. With the Vegas sign there, loving it. This is a picture I took in Vegas. Sometimes bigger is better. I would never guess that he likes that picture too. What? Yep, you got it. When I come to places like this, I get like a boost and I really want to create something and I have something in mind what I want to do already, but I don't have the time, I, you know, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do so many things, but you got to concentrate on what you want to do. If yes, people copy their style, I copied many artists style and then after a while you become your own artist and other people copy my style and they do their own stuff. That's how it works in the art industry. Nice outfit, I really like that glitter jacket she's wearing. You don't have the right to remain silent. I want to show you some of my artwork. I don't know if it's art, but here we go. hipster taking a picture nice sting like a bee look at that poor dog sometimes you see art and you think what but that person thinks he did a really good job and for him it looks really good. It's almost like America got talent when they go on stage and they sing and Simon Cowell says, no, nope, I'm sorry, you don't know how to sing. Yeah, I know how to sing. And that's with some of the artwork too. Some people does, do such a bad job, but at least they're doing something, right? And if they like it, why not? But you have to have really like confidence in yourself to sell your artwork. Andy, all the different windows. Look at the size of this one and all the sizes of the mask. This one would look really good in a mansion in Beverly Hills. Huge. Laser print on aluminum. And then they paint or stencil over it. So it reflects. And if you look closely, you can still see Marilyn Monroe's face. There's Rose and Jack.
the peanuts. All pictures of girls in bikinis makes one big picture of a girl in a bikini. Nice design. Pretty awesome piece. Now I'm thinking I should do one of Back to the Future. Just like this. Comic book. I like to try to figure out how he does stuff like this. This is ripped, paint over it, sprinkled it with paint. <laughs> Pretty cool figures. And you put them on canvas. I think every woman would like this one. Louis Vuitton. A mess. Good ideas. Girl, you gotta get that Coco Chanel. It's 3D. We also got a small version of her. And look, you can see the water drips on her body. You cannot make it look more real than this. She's all relaxed. Kobe. It all comes together. Painting of the Beverly Hills Hotel. That should be in their lobby. Great painting, but how cool would it be if you use real neon light on those signs instead of just painting? I'm just saying, Iron Mike. It could be pretty tiring walking around all day. What do you call that style of look she has? With the cowboy hat and the long coat. Interesting. If you ask me what I like the best today, definitely this art right here. This is incredible. I like to look at that, that's pretty awesome. This one and the other ones. Check out those shoes here. What? She's still doing it? How come nobody helps? Look at this. She does everything herself. Measuring and hanging it. This is when you really tell it that you look at the picture, it looks like a photograph, but the closer you get to it, you actually see it's a painting. There's the queen, Marilyn Monroe. Look at this, that's a statue of the G.I.V. Don't worry, nothing happened. It's just art. Sorry, man, you can't sleep here. This is what the graffiti wall in Venice looks like. Layers, layers of paint, but I think this is actually paper. And he cut it out and put his own artwork on it. Holly Wood. Urban art. Thank you. Looks good to me. I like this old New York subway, all graffitied up, skateboard. And there's Jack with the Lakers. Who would ever thought taking a picture close up of a pinball machine would look that good? Even this one. Looks like Banksy. Brainwash and another Banksy. Maybe those are just all recent pictures and those are all really old. So I don't know what he's saying about this. Wonder who painted that. $25,000. This looks like when I was five years old, I painted on my mom's table with like a pencil. But I must say, all together, it looks really good. 
I would hang something up like this. I was wondering if that artist would have been here this time. I remember him from last year. What does this one do here? I'm not sure. It looks like those are rubber balls. But sometimes you got to walk away a little bit to see what's going on. I like how this frame is totally damaged, scratched, and has holes in it. Even this one too. Look how messed up it is. I like a lot. A cello made on televisions. Hmm. See, that's the good thing about art. I would never guess that those young kids come in here to look at art, but they do. Art has no age. Some people come to the art show to dance. Why not? It's not really easy to dance in public like this. I wonder what her TikTok is. Or maybe YouTube, you never know. Ah, there's a picture of the GIV here. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the LA Art Show. 2024 and you know as long as you like it some people like that art some people don't like that art like i said as long as you like it that's the most important thing and whatever it is you like if you're an artist you just like to paint because it relaxes you it's fun why not if you're an artist who does it to make some money why not Okay, I'll be, I'll be right there. I'm just doing the ending right here. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Anyway, if you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and subscribe to the German in Venice. See you guys later. Tschüssing.